Hey everyone, Camden here with the Ranking Ball Preview Show for March 12th, 2019. Let's go. Here are your standings after last night's games. We have Milwaukee, Toronto, and Philadelphia in the top three for the East, and Golden State, Denver, and Houston in the top three for the West. Here are last night's scores. We have the uh, Cavs over the Raptors. Pretty big upset right there, and some drama going on as well. Uh, Wizards over the Kings, Nets over the Pistons, Rockets over the Hornets. Our only uh, home team to lose tonight, we have the Thunder over the Jazz, and the Clippers over the Celtics. Tonight's matchups, we have Knicks at Pacers, Cavs at 76ers, Lakers at Bulls, Bucks at Pelicans, Spurs at Mavs, Wolves at Nuggets, and the Blazers at the Clippers. Sports news. In the NBA, Lou Williams just passed Del Curry in the most total bench points in league history. Curry previously held the record with 11,147 points. Um, while it's not starting, so he's on the bench. That's how many points uh, Del Curry had scored. Uh, I think Lou Williams only needed, he needed 28 points tonight to uh, overcome this record and it's kind of you know coming off the bench he scored over 30 points uh, tonight which is a pretty big uh, feat so congratulations to Lou Williams um, as I said before there was some drama in the Raptors and Cavs matchup this pretty big uh, you know, surprisingly a blowout that game where uh, Sergi Baca and Marquise Chris were ejected after the um, from the game after getting into a little quarrel the uh, there was a you know a pass uh, from the Raptors uh, side on over, try to pass it on over to Sergi Baca, who was already on the other on the Cavs side. Uh, he got knocked down and he got really angry at uh, Chris, and you know Sergi Baca went and grabbed his neck and tried to you know got into this little brawl. So both of them were, were ejected. Uh, no word yet on how many days they will be suspend, suspended um, but Sergi Baca this is not his first time offense he will he might be missing uh, upwards to about five or six games uh, coming up uh, in the NFL pass rusher Terrell's, uh, Terrell Scruggs Suggs, uh, has told the Ravens that he will not be returning and is expected to sign with the Arizona, Arizona Cardinals uh, so that looks like the Arizona Arizona Cardinals be going to be getting pretty good. Um, Larry Fitzgerald said that I think he's going to continue playing with them. Um, and also, sources say that um, Tyron Matthew is, intends to sign with the Chiefs for three years, forty-two million dollars. That's a lot. So he was the uh, huge LSU star. He was drafted by the Cardinals, I think, and so he's going to be going uh, to the Chiefs. Pretty good. Good for you. Uh, in soccer, Real Madrid has not been doing well lately. And so they let go of their head coach, Santiago Solari, and has replaced him with former head coach, Sadid Zidane. The only thing I remember from Sadid Zidane is I remember in the World Cup, he, him heading butting somebody. That's like my only memory of Sadid, Sadid Zidane. Hopefully he uh, let that pass go. Tonight's featured match, we have the Spurs at Mavs. That is at 8 p.m. Eastern. In injuries for the Spurs, yeah, Dante Murray and Rudy Gay are the injured list. Um, Rudy Gay probably may, probably may be playing. Um, for the Mavs, uh, Giannis' little brother, Costas, is out. And Luka Doncic uh, hurt his ankle in the previous game, but he is expected to play tonight. Here are your previous game starters and your possible starters for tonight. Uh, here are my highest, here are the ranking balls, your highest FP averages for both teams. See in the top three, Aldridge, DeRozan, and Gay in the top for the Spurs. And then for the Mavs, you have Doncic, uh, Hardaway, and JJ Barrett. But JJ Barrett is not playing right now, so Powell is the next player up. This is my winning 16 by 48. It is uh, how many points a player is expected to earn per minute in an in, uh, regulation NBA match. So in the top four, you can see we have Aldridge, DeRozan, Doncic, and Gay. Um, both of them are 
the top. So a lot of the top three are matching. Rudy Gay is the only one who is not not uh, performing. Overall, the Spurs are a lot better team than the Mavs uh, when it comes to this matchup. Uh, the the Mavs are zero uh, five in the last five, five last five games, and so and they just they're kind of like last place in a lot of different things. Um, so I chose tonight. I chose this game because. It's kind of, you know, both the, the Texas teams playing against each other. That's always fun. So I find it the most interesting game going into tonight. Here are some stats for you. Um, I like to say this is the time for you to kind of stop. because a lot of information on here. You can stop and you can uh, smell the roses, smell the stats, uh, however you like to uh, use it. So I like to give one of the things I like to go into is the last five games. How well have the team been performing last five games? We have a tale of the two opposites. We have the Spurs at 5-0 and and the Mavs at 0-5. Uh, Spurs are scoring 180, and Mavs are the lowest in the past five games of all teams with the least amount of points, uh, averaging least amount of points per game with 98.2. So what should you be expecting from this matchup? Expect a pretty... Uh, I think it's gonna like in-state rivalry. So kind of like that, you should expect a little bit of rivalry going on. Maybe the Mavs perform a little bit better, but they still are just not performing that well at all. Um, the Mavs aren't out of play of contention, contention yet, but um, they know that their chances of making it are going down. So maybe the energy is not there. So I'm just, I'm going towards like a gut feeling of like, you know, in-state, they're gonna be kind of like crosstown rivals. So they'll be playing off of that. Uh, Mavs have been shooting a little bit more threes, um, and but attempting less field goals uh, than anything else. They're making for more free throws, uh, more free throw attempts. So those Mavs are getting closer to the rim, but you know definitely the Spurs have been hot fire, man. Forty nine point six percent shooting in the past five games. That's one of the best in the in the league in the past five games. So expect the Spurs to continue to be to play on fire against this weak defensive team, and I would expect you to play on the strengths of the Spurs going into tonight. So this is my draft board. Um, some key notes is that Luca is questionable to play. So, but if he is not playing, do not put him in your lineup, and that will make tonight's game all the worse. So. Um, you know, check into it. He hurt his ankle. It's questionable to play, but he did play in the previous um, in the previous game. After he hurt his ankle, he was able to walk on his own and able to continue playing. Um, so they might hold him for this game or not. Who knows? We'll have to wait until closer to the uh, start of the match. Um, other thing I say, plan the strengths of the Spurs. So make sure you're putting some Spurs players closer together. Make sure they're in more important spots. I'm gonna be be putting a lot more, you know, weaker da like Dallas players on this side because I don't think they're going to be performing that well. Now, if Doncic is get out, then you can put in Dirk. Um, so if Luca is pulled out of the game, put in Dirk. He's been playing pretty pretty well off the bench the past five games. So that's my uh, my kind of key strategy going into tonight. If Luca uh, doesn't play, put in Dirk, and then make Powell make so. Powell is your number two guy. Um, who would you replace as your number one guy? I'm going to say, I said, you know, put in Dirk Nowinski no matter what. So you see my board, I put Dirk in here no matter what. So put in Dirk tonight. And then if Luka Doncic does go in here, I would put in uh, Brunson. I would put him over here. And I would find somebody else to put in this spot. Maybe put Dirk in this area. Um, or put you know Harris in this uh, this spot as well. So those are my key takes away, takeaways for tonight going into the Spurs and Mavs matchup. So what I want to say is I want to uh, you know thank you for watching tonight's Ranking Ball preview show. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them leave them down below uh, in the comment section, or you can come to our Telegram and ask us personally any questions that you have about. Um, our IEO or RPG or just playing in general, uh, we'll be happy to answer those questions. You can find us on other places on social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, Instagram, Telegram, everywhere. So uh, I want to thank you for watching and I'll check you out tomorrow. Bye.